Hey guys, Wondering Shell here, and finally did it. It's the last one of the Phoenix Five group, and is the only hero in the Phoenix Five group, Hope Summers. Um, don't worry, guys. There will be a lot more heroes later on, but it took like two, three boxes to get to a hero. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy to finally see a hero in so long. Anyway, let me get back to this. So I started with her outfit, green skin. It's one of the newer paints that I'm using. So start out with green skin. And then, and apparently she was wearing gloves for it. So I had to put gloves on her. Literally going over it and Sure, this is actually my take two of recording this so I can't even remember what I was going to say it's pretty bad um, I'm hoping this time the audio is working way better which it most likely is because I tested it so yay me um, too bad I couldn't test it before that anyway uh, next is Necromancer Cloak um, this is kind of like my not uh, matte black anymore. It's the off matte black. Um, if you really want to use matte black, it's not good with tone. Um, with tones, because it, it's literally matte black. So if you want like an alternative, use the Necromancer cloak or other shades of that realm, because the tone will still come through, but you're not losing that dimension look to it. Uh, next is Demonic Yellow. Uh, there was actually a debate on her, this part of the fur outfit. I thought it was gold. Um, Will thought it was yellow. So I took a look again and I looked at different references and yep, it is yellow. So I can confirm it is yellow. But for you guys, if you want, you can make it gold, you can make it yellow, you can make it purple. I don't care. This is your character, not mine. At least, this one is mine. The other one is yours. Anyway. Next is Mummy Robes. Um, this is my other alter alternative to pure white, matte white. Because um, again, it's cool to have like the matte white, but after a while... The tones just make it too dark, um, but at least with mummy robes, it's kind of like an off-white, so it kind of gives it a little extra, uh, not as pure, like, in your face. This is a nice off-white alternative. So that's something to keep in mind on that, too. So necromancer are good for alternative for black, and mummy robes, a nice alternative for white. If you don't want it, like pure black and pure white so it's a nice in-between so did a little paintbrush for like for her neck piece of the cloak and then I used a bigger brush um, kind of like when you uh, ever like play with crayons and, st and color pencils when you try to draw something in the lines you kind of like uh, colored the lines themselves and then went crazy in that line it's kind of like that and that's what I do for most of them is I try to take a smaller brush like this and try to go around it right around those certain areas uh, nice and carefully and of course you always make mistakes it happens don't worry what's nice about this is army painter has really nice paint that can be easily go over again without losing the shade of it or anything like that so something to keep in mind with army painter paints that it's forgiving so after figuring out also her hair because her hair is not actually red it's orange um, so I had to use lava orange for her hair 
And again, doing the same thing like you do with uh, crayons or even markers, things like that, is you paint around and then you go crazy in between. And almost missed a spot. There we go. Uh, next for her blaster is gunmetal. I mean, there's not much to it. It's very simply designed. There's no like buttons or pieces of it that has to be different colors. So I just had had it as is. And unfortunately, with the tones, it didn't do very well with the tone. Um, you'll find out later. got it and then these are one of the newer paints I am using called dark stone for well the stone the rocks on the bottom and honestly I love how this came out I thought it's because it was too liquidy because I shook this thing like crazy no this is how it's supposed to look I guess so I love how it came out even with the tones and stuff ah beautiful don't want to change it because it does, well, looks like stone. Uh, next is leather brown. And this is just kind of like the muddy dirt area of her base. I could have just left it as all dark stone, but I wanted to give it a little extra because it looked like she's like jumping like from a rock and over and things like that. Uh, next is her flesh wash for her face. And then, you know how I've been always saying that I'm, I use soft tone for the heroes and dark tone for the villains? Finally, I can use soft tone for my heroes. So yep, I went through that. And then, time for the highlight. I did have to go over her face again for the highlight part. Um, because the flesh wash made her too dark of, um, of the tone. I also, off camera, did her eyes and her eyebrows and her lips because I couldn't do this with a camera. I needed to concentrate. <laughs> and it was very small, very little detail section, so I needed to make sure that was taken care of. Then her hair, any place that is raised definitely gets the paint. I kind of left those little indents alone because it gives it dimension in the hair. And the tone really shows that dimension because of it. After I did that, I went over again with her outfit, the green skin. Any place that that tone kind of made it too dark, um, re redid it and even her little thumb. This is like the most awkward spot I had to paint. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's kind of feel awkward. So I had to repaint those sections. Any place that is raised, um, that's definitely painted again. Like, you see where like she bends her knee and stuff, um, even right there. I don't repaint it because it keeps that dimensional look to it. And, you know, the whole point of the tone is to do that. So, redid the yellow, and do keep in mind when you are toning, your lighter colors will become dark because of the tone. So you'll have, if you want it brightly colored, you do have to repaint that color. Um, greatest example is actually the mummy robe color it became very brown very dark I did try to give her um, jumpsuit I guess a shiny look to it because according looks like in the picture it's shiny um, so I had to give her a little bit of a shine for it I did also go back in the blaster repainted it Anything that was raised a little bit, that was repainted. Again, this one is an easy one to do. Nice and simple. And 
and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, the next one, because Hope is the last one for the Phoenix Five group, so I'm hoping to uh, get the next round of characters. I have them already prepped. Um, there's actually two characters that are not even in a box set; they're just on their own. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and please leave a like, comment below and subscribe for more of these um can you please comment also if you guys want um either one character a week or two characters a week because i do have a lot of characters i do have to go through and i want to let have your opinion if i should do two characters a week or try to do just keep it as is with one character a week so please comment below one or two for the week so I know that you guys are enjoying this. But other than that, um, I continued on with her outfit, with Hope's outfit, with the cloak. I did dry brush in the beginning and then anywhere else that is more raised, which is majority of the outfit, um, I just repaint. Other than that, that's pretty much it for Hope Summers and this box for the Phoenix 5. I'll see you guys next time. Later.